Hey everyone, so in this one I'm going to be covering hair density maps. So I have my Dr. Steve Brühl model loaded up and this is a good model to show because I have um, some hair density maps already painted on his hair description up here. And I have my XGen Interactive Groom workspace up. And the first thing we have to do is make sure your hair plate is showing. Um, because XGen, if it's not showing and you go to create a density map, it'll uh, give you an error. Go to your interactive groom, select your hair base that you want to paint the density map on. Go down here to density mask and click this little brush icon. Uh, because I already have one uh, made, the boxes turn yellow and I've got this little option box next to it. But to create it one from scratch, um, create or click the little brush icon. Because I've already made one, this will just go into edit mode. And it might take a minute to load. It might be a good idea to hide your hair so you can see what's going on underneath. Oh, it looks like it turned hardware texturing on. You might need to have hardware texturing on in order to see what you're painting on your map. So let me hide. Actually, let me just isolate the plate. So to isolate, you just hit Shift I, and this can be a little bit more. This can be a little bit easier to work with if you want to just work on one specific item in your scene. So now that we have the hair plate isolated, go back, click on the little brush icon. This will put you back into paint mode, and you can see how I have this painted. Not a perfect job. But um, it doesn't necessarily need to look beautiful to, um, to work correctly. So what I have done here is the darker areas that I've painted will have less X-Gen primitives showing. So this, this front little section of his hair uh, is thinning much more. And then I have this... Uh, slightly darker gray section here just to feather uh, his hairline leading into where it would be most dense um, in the back of the scalp and also a little bit of feathering on his uh, sideburns. So when you want to paint there's a few things to know. Generally you do not want to use either of these feathered tip brushes. If you wanted to paint black directly on this and you wanted no primitives to show in certain areas and you use this feather tip it would be very very difficult and take a lot longer to paint out whatever area you wanted because the area might look black but XGen will recognize that as a, uh, a gradient leading into the black and you'll still have primitive showing so best bet is to go with the full circle with no feathering or the square brush I usually go with the, the full circle Or another thing to note, you might want to have the safe texture on stroke. And this might slow things down, but uh, it will save automatically every time you make a stroke. And it will also update. So if you have the hair visible, every time you make a stroke, you will see in real time it update. Uh, and another thing you might want to have on is under stroke screen projection or reflection and then this will just make it so every stroke that you make will have symmetry on the other side of the hair plate and obviously this only applies to models that are symmetrical in world space another thing to make sure is make sure you have uh, UVs for your hair plates here you can see what this one looks like 
And I'll just do a quick example. I'll do reflection across the x-axis and I'll just take out tool settings. Turn this down and I'll just give him like a bald patch back here and you can see how this works. Now if I hold down shift, it'll feather the edges, it'll smooth. And because I have reflection on, you notice how it didn't show up immediately. As soon as I stopped clicking, it, it projected to both sides. So now if I turn the hair on, select off, hit shift I again to get rid of out of isolation mode. And you should see the hair update. And now he's got a, uh, a bald patch back here. And you can see how here the hair is a little bit thinner. You can see how the, the hair maps or the, the density maps that I have painted on there are already affecting uh, this front region. So that's pretty much it for density maps. Um, pretty simple uh, to get across, but if you don't know those few little tips and tricks in the, in the tool settings, uh, it can take a lot longer and give you kind of a headache so uh, knowing that will uh, you know, help speed up this whole workflow. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, uh, leave me a like, uh, subscribe. I've got a lot more X-Gen videos and other tutorials coming on other topics. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching, guys.